So what to, would be like your dream project then? Like Martin Scorsese is dreaming on something. What is Nino dreaming? My on? dream is just like to keep making movies all the way to the Oscar. Yeah. Yeah, all the way to like to the big screen. Yeah. It's like my main goal is like, not like really to have like the trophy itself. My main goal is like to screen movies. You know, yeah. to keep like audience like hey. This is interesting. Yeah. You know, it's like that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. The magical cinema experience. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It's a exactly. It's a <laughs> pursuit of something yeah. of a passion. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nice. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yeah, yeah. so like that's why like Walt Disney say like um, if you can dream it, you can do it. Yeah. That's like the Walt Disney like famous line. Yeah. But like I think like we all do that. Like we have to dream. Like Steven Spielberg, he said, like, I live to dream. Mm -hmm. So, yes, filmmakers are dreamers. Yeah. I always say that. My name is Emily Fru. Um, I'm interviewing Nino Ayudat yep. on mm -hmm. behalf of uh, Timeless Film Festival. Um, we're here to talk about Hunger, um, a short film that Nino made. How long ago did you make Hunger? I would say again. How long ago did you make Hunger? I like almost five months. Oh, and great. Months, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Um, so what was the inspiration for this short film? Well, the inspiration it was um, from real events. It's like, like true events. So I was like taking some picture during the pandemic in financial district when I saw like a guy, he was like homeless. I don't say like a homeless, a man, yeah. you know, a man just walking in. Suddenly, I saw him like trashing, and mm -hmm. trashing and looking for something. And then I was like, "Whoa, well, let, let's take a look." And then I found out like like he was looking for food, he was looking to something to eat, and that like touched me like really. It was like emotional moment. And then I I picture that I have the picture of him. Mm -hmm. I have like five or six pictures. Like when you see, uh, well, I mean, and I have like his face. I was like picturing the situation. Mm -hmm. That situation is just like, I felt like so emotional. Mm -hmm. it, it was 2021, and I was like, on 2021, people still like, can't find the food, so. So you're from Algeria. Um, yeah, originally. In Algeria, do you see more or less issues with hunger and the unhoused? Uh, to be honest, it's like a worldwide problem. It do, it's it's kind of like let's see, it's just different situation yeah. and different. Well, I think like back home we still have like some charity, some people like mm -hmm. help each the other, which is like this is the main goal. It's like it says like this is the message that I want to spread through the art, like for us it's like through filmmaking, but like everyone in the society has to do something, you know. I don't know, like for us as artists, like we do it through art. We do it as like, hey, we, we're telling this story. We, we have like something behind it, right? We, we're spreading this message and then, yeah. We try to do something as, as an artist. Yeah. But like, I think like everyone has to do something. Yeah, hunger is real. Yeah. It's real. So it doesn't matter what, like if you are whatever in the, I mean, it doesn't matter like if you are homeless or no to feel like hungry if like you can especially right now with the inflation some people can't afford yeah, yeah some some people can't afford like a, uh, a meal to put on the table to their shoulder children so yeah. this is true well that's great that you're able to use your medium and your skills and your community to uh, build something meaningful you know i think that's very noble of you to do something like that um so great um what were the biggest what were the biggest challenges and learning opportunities when you were working on this production? Uh well to be honest, I had like uh and then I want to thank them like through this platform too. I had like such a such a our like creative crew and passionate and they were like it was like I was just a leader, yes. But like without them I couldn't do it and they were like we I think like we had like right people yeah. for the right project at yeah. that time. Yeah. We were like all like like a, I felt like we had a family. Yeah. And then we had like less resources and we filmed I remember it was like Christmas 
Christmas Eve, yeah, and then they were all there. I, I really appreciate that. So can you imagine that they were, yeah, we, we have the love of film and making movies, so they were all there on time and, yeah. yeah. Is there um, any specific members of your crew that overcame, like, a certain, like, obstacle that you were, like, can you think of a moment where that uh, happened? Okay, so, uh, the guy who played the tech guy, so, like, uh, and then I can say hi to him from here, so, <laughs> yeah, you know, like, when we were filming right downtown around homeless and all of that filthy area, and, and he's a doctor, so in, in real, like, in real life, he's a doctor, and the, he, on the scene, I mean, he has to smoke. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that was a, like a real obstacle. Even though he had the those cigarettes without nicotine and all, but he's mm -hmm. still like struggling. So we were like, we had like really hard time to make that scene. And that's how right. Alex like earlier, like he was talking about a couple scene and then I know exactly which one. <laughs> so yeah, so he was struggling to smoke. So yeah, yeah. But at the end, he did like he did it, he made it. So whatever, like can you imagine you like a doctor who was like he specialized in concerts? So it's not easy. Oh, yeah. Like hey, can you like smoke? So at that time, yeah. he was the actor, not the not the Got doctor. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so what alternate versions of this narrative did you consider? Was there anything that you wanted to include that didn't, or afterwards that you were like, gosh, I would have really liked to have explored? Well, to be honest, I think I did what what I need to do, you know, uh, basically. But if I had if I had like to do like extend or something, I would love to get like more uh, into the deeper in character's mind, uh, like inner mind to show the audience who's this, what, what's going on in their life, you know. But like that, you need like run more running time and like other locations that is gonna go the film is gonna go more than 20 minutes and then i'm targeting like to make it short yeah. you know i was like targeting the 10 minutes yeah. running time so that's why i ended up with that version yeah. So, yeah. um so is that what you were i would love to hear more about the meaning of the black and white sequence is that what you were trying to do is that like someone's imagination or was that like an alternate version an alternate reality okay, yeah. or yeah i'd love to so hear basically about that. basically it was like his imagination the tech guy imagination when he was smoking so he smoke and then his inner mind went like like let's say um he felt like hey i made something you know uh, sometimes like our inner mind like blame us you know like blames us like hey you did you did shitty things so you know that's how like and then why I sh like I made it like black and white is like to serve the story. It's like going from that like tick or like that word to the the contrast between the two character of him. He was like tech and then what about what about if I'm in his situation? I'm that hungry homeless guy. The the real homeless how he's going to like treat me, you know? Because it's the contrasts. It's a it's a huge contrast in the character, in the word, in everything. That's why I went like only black and white, like dark and light, black and white, and then like the and then the other thing. It's the the other word, the word like the filthy word, the the hunger, the the poverty. You know that's why I chose the black and whites particularly to for that scene. Yeah, yeah. Like grittier, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Um, if you could shoot this short with like a dream cast of actors, who mm. who would you cast for it? Well, I think to be honest, like since the film is done, it's yeah. that that was the cast. Okay. Yeah. 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 Because like um, in filmmaking in general, like once an actor like get into a character, it's gonna it's gonna like link to together, right? So let me tell you something. Can you imagine like the Godfather Michael Corleone, Corleone like not Al Pacino? Mm. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, it's like that. Same, same. Like once like the film is done, so the character is gonna link to that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I think. So, yeah, the casting it's like see pre-production. It's not like after. After it's done. <laughs>
Um, did you have any happy accidents during this production? Uh, yeah, it's like like we were like we were talking earlier. So like when we were at the Tenderloin, right in in this like the heart of Tenderloin, we're surrounded by homeless and all of that guys. And I, I you know, some of them are like really they need help. They like mentally, they're mentally ill. So I think they need more help. That's why I like I think like this this film had like a lot lot like message. So we were there and then we were trying to make something and then they were like surrounding us, you know, and then I was like I used that trick. I was like, guys, you know, I've been homeless back in the days and now I'm making a documentary about my experience. They were excited, oh really? Yeah, they were helping. So they get involved and they were like really helping us and yeah I had like Jordan there and I was like what are you doing I was like just like you going <laughs> like I'm trying to yeah you have to do something like that but like basically believe me you think you you feel like they're human they have this like they have this like uh, nature like everyone else but they have like these issues which is like I think like mental issues that's it. Otherwise, like they they can get back to the society like everyone else. Yeah. yeah. So that was like that. Uh, that's why, like I said, like the 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 black and white, particularly was there. It's a lot. It's like a, yeah. it's not only only it's behind the lines. Uh, I think message. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So for pre-production, what um, like because you were filming in Tenderloin, did you have to do a lot of like set design or was it kind of just like raw, like almost photojournalism style? Uh, okay, so basically uh, we had like the location, we had like the Tenderloin and we had, we had the financial district, which okay. is like that, like really, that really. Was the cafe. Yes, okay. the cafe, it was like in the heart of financial district. And then we have the, the other word, which is the Tenderloin around that. And then I was scouting around and, you know, you know, I, I like I was like natural lighting. I was like, yeah, I was following the the sun and all of that. And then I saw it's like, hey, this is like natural, natural, like for free. All of that like production design, like someone who's doing that, like it's not easy to make that. You, like you see, if you if you if you see the um, those like all those clothes like hanging around and. All that filthy stuff around it's that's just all natural yeah so let's use it <laughs> yeah, it well, was like that but yeah. but back in the uh, the coffee shop was I was like more because like it was like color so I did some stuff so with like production design and just to make the color contrast you know yeah I went like blue orange like that was like warm a little bit yeah yeah. Okay, if you were to give advice to a first-time independent filmmaker, what advice would you give to them? Oh, okay. So I remember when I started my first shorts back in the days. It was 2016. I didn't listen to anyone. I listened to my fashion. I listened to, yeah, to the inner mind, to the whisper that I had, to the dream that I had. Hey, right? Shoot edit move on to the next that's all yeah yeah so just trust your gut yeah 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 well, right edit shoot and move to the next one like i said like all filmmakers they keep like a dreaming even steven spielberg martin scorsese quentin Tarantino. look at christopher Nolan. like he was like dreaming about this coming movie oppenheimer yeah yeah he was dream where their brothers like the you know they didn't like they didn't go with him, and at the end, he went to Universal Studios and made the film. Yeah. It was like, it's like that. It doesn't matter, like, if we are all the way to the big budget movies or the indie movie, we still, like, dreaming. And yeah. We, yeah. Always, yeah. Yeah. I love dreaming. that. Pursue regardless. The pursuit of dream. Yeah. 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 The pursuit of, like, of a journey. Yeah. Keep doing it. Yeah. Yeah. How did you find your cast and crew? Did you know a lot of them beforehand? Were some of them like referred oh, to you? How okay. did you find your like dream cast? The cast was like through networking. 
uh, the tech guy, it was through uh, castingnetwork.com. The, uh, the homeless guy, it was like through Facebook groups, like like filmmakers groups, like like uh, our group, yeah, same, yeah. Okay. The, the lady, the barista, uh, it, she's a friend of mine that I've known her for a long time. And she's I was surprised. She's director? Or? She's like, uh, she, I think like she's not like, a, she didn't act before, but she was like in some like music videos mm-hmm. and she's like a social media, she, she, she's like active in social media and stuff. But I, I saw the profile on her, I don't know how. It's, it's like a filmmaker uh, intuition, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I don't know, it's like, hey, this, this one is the right for this character. It, I don't know how, but I, but I ended, she ended up good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mm-hmm. love that you trust your gut creatively. Of course, it seems yeah. like your, your creative compass is always pointing the right way. Yeah, to be honest, I, I haven't had like any issue with her on set. It, just like the first scene, that's it. And then she was like in. She was the character right there. Yeah. I was like, wow, nice. Especially like, you know, the one of the one of the best like scene that I had like a, a good feedback. So like she was involved when she kicked him out from mm-hmm. from the coffee shop. It was like so emotional moment. Yeah. And then like when she kicked him out and then and then you you hear the music and all of it was like really, really like yeah. I, I think like she was like uh, more uh, subtext rather like mm-hmm. text. That's why you know she ended up that cool. Even the, well, I, I like the cast. They they did they did pretty good job. Though. They did a great yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's I mean that's inspiring. I think that like you know it was just kind of like uh, very organically generated. Exactly. Cast, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Especially um, with like two uh, we had like two days like yeah two days like shooting so yeah. it was pretty cool. Okay, I have one more question, okay, and ahead. it's a big one. Um, so if you were to share any further sentiments about issues with the unhoused or with hunger, um, what would they be? Oh, yeah, this is interesting. I think um, I have this uh, this voiceover lines, like when you, at the end of the movie, when he, when he, uh, when he said, the, I mean, the homeless said, like, I didn't mean to teach you integrity. You know, I didn't mean to teach you integrity. I did what makes me happy and feel full. That's how, uh, that's how I can s- fall asleep anywhere. Mm-hmm. I think like the real hunger, it's like, it's the, it's the soul hunger. It's like, it's, it's the integrity, it's the value, you know? Yeah, that's the real hunger. Like, doesn't matter if you have like a billion dollars and you don't have values. You don't have like the, I don't know, you don't have like empathy, you don't have this, this, this. I think like we, we have like a lot of like um, things that you can't buy. Mm. You know, the guy like he's hungry, yes, but like he felt like full and he felt happy by like giving that wallet. It could be like money there, cards, everything. But no, you, you, you can't buy like values and mm. he has the standards and makes him like feel like a millionaire. Yeah, he's yeah that. he's richer for having exact. good values. Yeah, yes. that's why I'm saying. Richer as a person. I think this is like my my like one of like the the big message that I want to like spread. It doesn't matter what people like they judge the book by its cover more than like it's all about appearance, appearance, appearance. What about the inside? Yeah, I think the inside. It's like if we go deep inside people, we will find a lot of things. I love that. That's yeah. very that's a very beautiful sentiment. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm excited for the Time F- Timeless Film Festival on July 8th. Do you know what you're going to be wearing? It's of a dress course. up occasion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's it's going to be a pleasure, um, like seeing the movie on the big screen and having that experience around filmmakers. That's why we will make film. Yeah. Yeah. Great. It's to to watch it, to see on the big screen and awesome. share the moment. Great. Well, I'm excited to share the moment with you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, much, Nino. Thanks very much. Thanks for having me here. Thank you so much, Nino. I can't wait to see you guys at the Timeless Film Festival on July 8th. Um, Thank you so much. My pleasure to see all of you at the Shortlist Film Festival on July 8th. Uh, Guys, like, come over. It's going to be, like, really, really, really interesting. You will share all of that, like magic magic like when i say like magic because 
there are like there are many 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 filmmakers artists all of those guys who like spreading the magic of arts and then just like come join us and enjoy it welcome in